that wants to give you the chance to win a four-day, three-night ski vacation of a lifetime at Mount Treblant. Click on Getaway Giveaway. Katie McGee got the chance, and she is here to tell us all about it. Yes, I am. It was actually, it was a really, really good time. Uh, believe it or not, yes, I was asked to be a contestant on Hollywood Squares. I'm not sure why, but it was all part of Entertainment Reporters Week. I was in Los Angeles earlier this month for the taping. Now, I actually watched them tape a week's worth of shows in one day. A lot of work. And what I discovered is that this game is a real mix of stars and strategy. When I was young, I was the image of Casey. That was the start of my Hollywood Squares adventure. Yes, it was none other than entertainer Dame Edna, just one of the celebrities filling the game board. I wasn't about to be outdone by uh, Dame uh, Edna. 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 Phyllis Diller and Oscar De La Hoya. You are good looking. Wow. Donny Osmond and Gilbert Gottfried. We're having a great time, right? I'm so annoying. They were among the stars on hand to help me in my quest for cash. First of all, be nice to uh, Gilbert Gottfried. Yes, yeah, see, if you want to win something, uh, <clears throat> you can shut off the camera now. Before the cameras start rolling on Hollywood Squares, there's a lot of work to be done. I had to go to square school. You must pay attention, class. Ten reporters from around the country were put through what I like to call contestant boot camp. This is not tic-tac-toe or paper throw. I'm a wonderful new folk, okay? There is a strategy involved in playing this game. And yes, there is strategy involved. Keep in mind that on Hollywood Squares, if you get the question wrong, your opponent gets the box. Set up. Set up. We thought we were squared away after day one, but no, it was off to the studio this time for another round of training. All you have to think about is agree or disagree for 20 minutes. With all this talk of strategy, I was getting a little nervous. It was time to ask for advice, and I went straight to the top. Stay with your instinct. Just, if you have a feeling, you go with that gut feeling. Compared to, to this, chess is just a walk in the park. Here we go. It was finally time to play. Meet my opponent, Bob Kendrick, from WFTS in Tampa, Florida. Hello, New York City. I'll be good to your girl. She's going to kick my butt. Shaking off those last-minute jitters, I shook my opponent's hand and put my fate in the hands of the celebrities. And this is Dame Edna and little Casey thanking you for having us at your place. And if you want to watch me take a shot at game show stardom, tune in tonight. You can catch Hollywood Squares at 7.30 this evening right here on CBS2. And I do want to add that all of us were playing for charity, so any money won did go to a good cause. Was it tough when you went out there and the light went on and you knew you were playing for real? I'll be honest, you'll see it tonight, but a little <laughs> bit of pressure. You know, when you're sitting at home, you know all the answers. When you're right. up there, it's a little nerve-wracking. Yeah, that's what <laughs> they say. We're we'll definitely watching 7.30 tonight. <laughs> yes, yeah, Katie. And we're Katie. definitely going to show all of the highlights tomorrow morning. Oh, and they're I'm right. There's a few highlights <laughs> to show. <laughs> all right, speaking of highlights, we've been talking about Michael Pomerantz, little surprises about Michael. For those of you who don't know, he actually was a pitcher before you became a, a journalist. <laughs> Base, baseball pitcher, maybe baseball we should. Baseball pitcher, yeah, <laughs> he was a water pitcher. No, he was a baseball pitcher for four teams. Yeah, but and now. <laughs> you're a journalist. I'm a journalist. No, no, actually we have some pictures. You work with some pretty hot people. Yeah, I played, for, well, yeah, played, played a little while. That's, uh, that's me with the mullet right there. Nice that, that really, you like mullet. That? Very nice. That's a solid haircut there. <laughs> See, number 67 is a number you get when you know you're not going to make the big league team. Aww. They run out of numbers. <laughs> everybody, else, everybody else is numbered on ah. By the way, look, if we go back, that's Jimmy Pearsall. Uh, he's the guy on the left. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> I'm about 40 pounds ago. But that picture there, that's Sandy Koufax uh, wow. to my right. And uh, Johnny Roseboro and Johnny Padres. On the other side there, number 22, Johnny Padres. That's, That's pretty impressive. Yeah, let me tell you, Sandy Koufax, playing with Sandy Koufax's organization, Bob Gibson wow. right there. Big highlight for me. You the man. But <laughs> look at the Michael Pomerantz baseball card. Oh, God. I wonder what they're trading for on eBay. No, <laughs> they give so you the funny. cord and $50 Michael, if you'll take it. Michael, this one, you're doing the whole supermodel look like. Mm, yes, this yes. Where's the runway? Posing for GQ. <laughs> and again, no, how nice. many pounds ago was that? Well, 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 on the back of the cards, it says you were six. Two. Yeah, what? that's enough. Oh, okay. That part's accurate. Oh, oh we, we can't say that. We can't say that out loud. Oh, you can say that I was six two, but I, honestly, how much did it, does it say I weigh? One ninety two, one ninety two, one ninety three, one ninety two, one ninety three. That's about oh, where I am. Oh, that's, that's a cool. lot of years that's ago. Cool. It's a lot of years ago. It was a lot of fun. Nice story to tell. Yeah, it was a lot of Pretty fun. Neat. You know, it was every kid's dream, and and now I'm a journalist. <laughs> So. Also, every kid's dream. Yeah. Every kid's dream. I'm, I'm glad you switched careers. Well. It was actually a shoulder injury that, that stopped. Training. Yeah, I stopped playing in uh, in '92 when okay. I 
got to operate it on. With us. All right, now speaking of sports. Yeah, it's time to uh, to talk about the, the guys who get paid to do that mm. for a living. So 